Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. And the car I have behind me today is Kia EV6 GT. The most powerful GT and also the most powerful Korean production car. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit! And I want to give you five things that you probably didn't know about this EV6 GT. And how would I know? Well, I've been test driving this car for the past few days. Ugh. I thought I would get used to this power by this time after putting about 700 kilometers on this car. Trust me, you don't get used to this power. And I put about 700 kilometers on this car. And I could say that I found a few things about that car. So let's get to it. Today's video is sponsored by SBA of Seoul, Korea. After the mayor enters, I'll go inside and show you all about today's event. <laughs> The first thing I have is not actually visible from the outside. So let's actually go and pop the hood because it's underneath the engine bay. I know it's not engine bay, it's motor bay, maybe. <laughs> and tell me in the comment below if you know what they should be called. Well, a little hint, there are two of them. This strut braces that are found one on the left and also one on the right. That actually adds the extra rigidity to the chassis and also the feedback from the steering wheel is really important on a high performance car like this. So for the record, this EV6 GT, you guys probably know, has 585 horsepower with a performance of 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and 0 to 100 kilometers in 3.5 seconds. Go! Ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that is just on the paper. Actually, a YouTuber here in Korea managed to pull this car under 2.999 seconds. Any YouTuber who test driven this car was able to come under 3.5 seconds for 0 to 100. All right, so getting back to the point one, that is for the extra steering rigidity. And it's not the strut bar that we know of that connects these two together, but that brace alone is actually good enough of a technology to increase and upgrade this EV6 GT. And just so you know, Hyundai Motor Group actually introduced that first on Elantra N. And that technology is brought straight to EV6 GT. How was this car able to do 2.999 seconds? That is with a little bit of a secret that I will show you inside. You actually have to put in a secret command for that. And let's go inside. What that is or how that was all possible is you actually have to put in like a secret command. Fire up the car. Put the power in. <laughs> Go into the GT mode, press hold the VDC so the VDC gets completely turned off. It says traction and stability control disabled. And next is pressing the brake pedal quite strong. Pull both of the shifters towards you. And there we go. It says drift. Drift mode activated. And the drift mode actually allows the most slip and also at the same time the grip. The most slip and how is that a the most grip? But bear with me, it's going to be the third point. I'll be explaining it to you. But that is the second point. There is the drift mode and that's how you go into it. Let me show it to you one more time because sometimes it just gets really, really confusing. Going to any other mode, of course the drift mode goes away, but the VDC stays on, so beware. I think it works on sport mode too, so let's try on sport. Go on to the sport, turn the VDC off completely. Press it once, it says traction and stability control limited. So that is what that means, but just press it, hold for a few seconds. And traction and stability control disabled completely. Doing it again, press in quite strong. Pull pedals in, both of it. Wait for a few seconds. 
and there we go the drift mode in activated once again so it works both in sport mode and gt mode all right so let's move on to the third point so let me explain you about the most slip and most grip at the same time the third point is not quite visible well it's not actually visible on the outside once again but the third point is lsc limited slip control and that is why and how the car is fastest with the drift mode on the drift mode actually allows you to or ev6 gt to have the full slip on all of each wheels but that lsc launch slip control enables that sweet spot and finds that sweet spot for the maximum grip and stability pulling out the best 0 to 60 time of 2.999 seconds and i've test driven this car in all different modes eco normal sport and gt mode of course but the drift mode when it's enabled you can actually get the most grip out of each wheel keep in mind that drift mode completely disables the ecs so there is no computer aiding your drive helping so engage the drift mode unless you know exactly what you're doing and what you want to do perhaps when you want to do the drift right i think i've given you too much of the front look so let me give you the rear look too but the differences are just so subtle however there is one the rear diffuser the vertical ones also the reflector as well and don't forget about that gt badge well so that being said the fourth point is with that drift mode and all this ev6 gt is able to pump out 1.36 g to the driver and that is flickering like crazy 1.36 g and that is ridiculous amount of g-force right there and that is all possible from that 585 horsepower and 1.3 g ish is like the maximum g-force that you would actually get on a lot of tracks you know what a monstrous car this is last but not least the fifth point is actually inside the car and this time it is visible so let's go check it out uh, but before I go in I also wanna well I didn't throw this in on the points but Michelin Pilot Sport 4S specifically built for this EV heavy EV EV6 GT and it has the sound absorbance inside of the tires and it comes with the performance as well this is quite the obvious so I did not put that in and I kind of want to mention that Ford Pod Caliper one more time with that 20 beautiful 21 inch wheel. I absolutely love it. So let's go to the fifth point and the last point of the day that is inside the car and is visible. Ooh, I'm going to have a hard time doing it with my one hand. All right, so looks like this V2L that goes right there and you can use the power source using the v2l it's also inside the car on the second row seat as well i just want to touch up on everything i kind of want to tell you everything about it last one the fifth point is inside right here and we can just see it immediately by popping that open imagine what that is it is the straw bar that we know of so this is the straw bar that connects the, these two points together with this rigid firm steel and well that is the woofer for the meridian sound system this is how serious this ev6 gt is and they also have reinforced this plate right here to install the rear strut and due to the reason being it also has the harder spring rates on the rear so the ev6 gt has more tendency to oversteer compared to a regular ones and that is only a comparison i'm not saying that the ev6 gt is like oversteer crazy car no that is more fun that is more sporty hence the strut bar on the rear that is just absolutely insane i mean first we saw that on elantra n from hyundai motor group and of course that elantra's was sticking out right here covering up like half of the store trunk storage that's not the case with the ev6 gt if they were like really really serious they would have definitely put it somewhere right there just like that they have done it with the elantra but whoops that's not it with ev6 gt but this also does the work that's it and look at this they have the sound absorbent over here too so keeping keeping it ev6 keeping it the family car but 
being the fastest Korean car out there just yet. Absolutely insane. All right, so that's it. That's the five points that you didn't know about EV6 GT. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea. And I'll come back with more newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia Cars. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ever since they started off in year 2004 with 11 businesses in total, Haishao currently in 2022 have 918 businesses up and running. And here towards the end of the year of 2022, we have gathered up together to celebrate the businesses who have excelled. So these are the businesses that have been nominated and is currently being awarded here today.